Let us now lionise a living legend, a figure of such conspicuous capacity in so many fields that it seems improbable that he is one person. Out of sheer respect, I refuse to kickbox him. It's time to present the special award, one of the highest accolades BAFTA can bestow. And this year, to affix the garland, please virtually welcome three Hollywood stars in the separate but complimentary shapes of Taraji P. Henson, Ruth Wilson and the freshly showered Matthew McConaughey, as well as the long-run scriptwriter and actual doctor, Grace of Ferrieta. The recipient of this year's BAFTA Special Award is just that, special. Not only is he one of the most talented and world-renowned actors in the country... He's also an internationally celebrated producer, writer and staunch champion of new talent, opportunity and diversity within our industry. And incidentally, I understand he is one hell of a DJ. And I know for a fact that the last time I was with him, he was still an undefeated kickboxer. But that will be for another show. Idris Elba first made his name in The Wire, where he was so good at playing American gangster Stringer Bell that even now some people refuse to believe he's British. This success led to him playing his now legendary role of DCI Luther in the award-winning BBC drama Luther. Working with Idris has been one of the highlights of my career. I mean, we've worked together for about 10 years as Alice and Luther, and we have had some amazing times, uh, both on set and behind the scenes whether it was sort of pub crawls in Islington with Warren Brown, which did result in the recording of a single which has never seen the light of day, and I don't know why, Idris, because the world needs it. As Idris's career and success grew, so did his philanthropic spirit, which began to have a hugely positive effect on the UK TV landscape when in 2013 he founded Green Door Productions. It can be really hard to find a way into the TV industry. It just champions diversity. He took a risk on me and gave me the opportunity and that opportunity changed my life. This year's BAFTA Special Award goes to the one and only Idris Elba. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you to BAFTA for giving me this opportunity and finally recognizing, I'm joking, I'm very proud. Uh, I just want to start by thanking my mum and dad, Winston and Eve, for giving me life. And without that, I wouldn't be here. And also my children, uh, Riaz, Issy and Winston, to my beautiful wife, Sabrina. Thank you, guys. I couldn't live without you. Um, listen, I, when I first got this award, I was like, wow, it's a bit early for a Lifetime Achievement Award. Uh, I was wrong. It's a special award, and it is special, and I appreciate it. I know that I don't believe I'm very special. I believe that what I've been given is an opportunity and what I've done is taken my opportunity and handed it backwards and handed it to other people that need that opportunity. That is something that, you know what, I didn't plan to do. It's just a natural um, feeling. It's a natural uh, reaction. Uh, I feel very grounded coming from East London where I'm, I was born and raised. And I know that you know, in East London, we treat people, we try to treat people with respect because everyone comes from the same cloth. And in the world of film and television, nothing is different in that sense. In, this, in other words, no one's different. So me giving an opportunity to someone else is just part of my inheritance, part of my, my upbringing. Um, I'm hoping that from this point on in this world, in this junction, that everyone sees that you can't make it without anyone else that we all think about paying it backwards to the person behind you so they get an opportunity. That's definitely why I think I've got this award. Um, one day I might get an acting award, but until that day, I'm going to make more opportunity for more actors, more writers and more people to come and speak and tell their story. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. 